Hey y'all, this is Bad Tag, and in my opinion, I think this to be the best Gorilla Tag fan game. Even better than Capuchin in its prime. And Capuchin right now, because it kind of sucks right now. Like, it even has a tutorial, rope grabbing physics, actual good Gorilla Tag physics, and a little description. And then this is tutorial, and in my opinion, this, ser this game has some of the best servers out there. Like, you guys saw, like, the second I popped out, just during the server. I'd say even possibly faster than Gorilla Tag. And also, there's other maps. There's water physics. There's lights. There's music that is really nice, but I'm going to mute it since I'm recording a video. There's targets. I'm not sure what those are for yet because there's not a paintball mode yet. Or something like that. We just need most people muted. So, first one we're gonna check is obviously gonna be shop, because just the classic of everything. We even got mod vents. Sure, it's kinda copied off of Capuchin, but in my opinion, this is better than Capuchin. So, um, I kinda spent my mangoes. You start off at 500, you earn over the, over, you earn 100 mangoes over the span of 40, I mean 28 hours. There's a bunch of different has that are all really nice on this cool little player model. Holdables, beanies, mod vent, again, a bunch of posters, and they even have an estimated time of when the next update is coming out. And I also really like the random storytelling with the random monkeys that are around the map. There's some limited cosmetics for day one, whatever. And then there's a, a special booster cosmetic. You have to go to their Discord, boost it, and you get these two things. A booster badge and a trail. What is this? Is this an open mod vent? i never seen this. Welcome to Stellar Shop, owned by local, owned locally by Bongo. This is just a bunch of scrapped cosmetics. That's really cool. <laughs> That's extremely expensive. Dang! How much do mangoes cost? Who is this? <laughs> I don't really, I don't want to know no more. Fan art, there sadly isn't any yet. And my favorite thing about the, the kind of cracked up movement physics of a real tech fan game, you can just flap your hands and you just go like particle accelerator mode across the room. Because like for some reason it just doesn't stop your momentum. Also over here, um... There's some questionable posters. Uh, what is this guy showing me? Oh, uh, um, good for you, man. Uh, okay, so the first Second. map we are gonna check out is gonna be the parkour map because I think it's really cool. No, shut up, do this. Do this. No, shut up, do this. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, hold on, hold on, do this. Dude, how did you unmute it yourself? Okay, so the first map we're checking out is the parkour map. STOP! SHUT UP! <laughs> okay, for some reason the servers, I, I think there's only in one map. That's probably for budget cost because this is a fan game after all. They're make not making extreme bank. But, um, this is the parkour map. It's mostly just a place where you can practice the physics of this game, which aren't the best, but... They are, the physics of this game are good. It's just the map is like really big in comparison to the player model. If they shrunk the maps down, I think it'd be a lot. It's like a really cool map. I like it a lot. I feel like if Gorilla Tech came out with something like that, everyone would love it. Because I really want a jungle map. Because instead of revamping forest, they could like make a jungle map. Okay, so the next map we're going to be checking out is the, the mountains map. I really love fan games mountain, like ice maps, because they're usually really cool and kind of buggy, but this is what it looks like. They have like little huts, little slides, and even ice physics. Where's the ice at? There it is. Wow, what? There's a frozen monkey. Oh yeah, this is also kind of broken because you can kind of run on ice. Oh, that's kind of sad. Oh yeah, there's also a YouTuber back here. Give me this badge! I'm making a video about your epic game. It's, it's the unreleased cosmetic. What? <laughs> the YouTube badge has colliders. What's the museum? Old player models? We look the same. What do you mean old player models? 
Old Forest? Old, old, for, old Forest kind of looks cool, not gonna lie. What? This, this, oh my god, this so cool. Did this used to be a Roblox game? What? <laughs> um, I'm not gonna talk. <sighs> You're kidding! Next map! The next map is, uh, canyons. But, um, like, canyons, you know? Uh huh. <laughs> I first played this game, I thought, I, I personally thought this was gonna be the back rooms, but, um. There's uh, another one of these cats inside of the pyramid. <laughs> I hate these things. Is there a cat in every temple? I guess not. Uh, I said I guess. How do I get up there though? This is making me mad. Do I have to climb up that rope? Okay. I'm determined. You eat the pie, it fills you with determination. Oh, we're in. Now what is this? Maxi! We took too much time looking at that. Okay, so the last thing I want to show you is another map but a map. also i forgot to mention that there's mod vents and this is really cool caves but called playground map they have a bunch of like textures beta i guess i don't know but really cool, thing, cool rooms <laughs> I'm um, like, go, go down the slide. But then now <laughs> we're in the pool rooms. There's some pretty janked up swimming physics, but there's nothing that this really gives you other than some cats flipping you off. And there's one other meme. But <laughs> I'm stuck. No. Down there, it, there's just some bunch of memes around. But it would be really nice if they made an actual horror mode. Because I'm pretty sure the developer is really capable of that. And then the last thing I want to show you is something kind of minor, but it's something big that most fan games do not have. So, um, uh, this is Stump. You could. So, what I wanted to show you is the cues. They have tag. Most games can't achieve that. Power up. Um, and then you can change your name. You could enter codes, which is extremely fast. You could change your color. You could. Uh, I didn't know Debug showed my play fab. They have this really cool mirror. Move! Credits. But yeah, that's all this game really has to offer. It's really cool. I like it. It's better than Capuchin. Changed my mind. We have this like fisheye mirror. But yeah. Bye bye.